brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back to Healthy Living. If you are just joining us tonight, we are talking about birthmarks. Express Care's Dr. Yet Kalam is here and has been gracious enough to take some of our viewer questions now sure. on the topic. So our first question from our viewer is, my birthmark has gotten darker and bigger as I've gotten older. Should I be worried about it becoming cancerous? No. Um, very rarely does that ever occur. I'm thinking about a type of birthmark that can occur um, where it's actually a type of mole. It's kind of bumpy and uh, very rarely do they transform into cancer. But if it is becoming fleshier or juicier or spreading or changing color, then it can be biopsied. And that's really an easy procedure where if it's very large, the whole thing can be removed. But if it's, it, I'm sorry, if it's very small, the whole thing can be removed. But if it's just, if it's large, we can just take a little tiny piece of it, send it to the lab and make sure it's nothing serious. So you can identify it. Yeah. Are there any complications associated with birthmarks? Well, um, the, the serious ones would be like we talked about with the cafe au lait spots or um, people that are born with those really large vascular um, malformations. And those ones um, are associated with certain seizure disorders and developmental delay. So sometimes um, if, if, if a child is identified early on with those type of spots, then they would see a neurologist have uh, scans of their head and so on to discover whether that's the case. Okay, our next question asks, what is the most effective procedure for removal? And you kind of touched on that too. Yeah, for removal, most of the time it's not necessary. Um, if it's very unsightly, it can be removed. Then people ask the question, should you remove the birthmark early on or should you wait till the child's older and finish growing? And it sort of depends on where the spot is. Um, sometimes if it's in a more inconspicuous area, then the surgery is done when the child's a baby because babies heal so well that you know you can just basically close the skin and, and there'll be no scar later on. Um, other times the, the, the lesion's just too big for the child to, for, to, be, to be removed. You'd need a lot of plastic surgery. So we say wait until the child grows up and then you know, proportionally the, the lesion's smaller and easier to remove. So that's very individual. Okay, um, the next question. I read that a silver mark or a silver streak of hair is also considered a birthmark. Is this true and is it hereditary? Yeah, that's interesting. Yes, it is. Um, you've probably known people like that that have a streak of hair um, that's very white and that's something that they're born with. Sometimes that does run in families, it does. And um, uh, they, they basically our hair also is uh, um, dependent on the amount of pigment that is in the root of the hair. So people with black hair have a lot of pigment in, in those root cells. Um, people with light colored hair have an absence of pigment. And so um, those, those white spots have no pigment at all. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So it is considered a birthmark. It is. All right. Interesting. You never mm -hmm. would have thought about that. Yeah. Our next question is, are any disorders associated with birthmarks? Any disorders? Y yes, just the ones we talked about, seizure disorder, um, certain developmental um, neurological conditions. Um, and I guess if you, um, y you know, depending on where the lesion was, um, it may signify that there's some other uh, vascular malformations inside the body. So those would need to be checked out. Okay, and our last question asks, how can you tell the difference between a birthmark and a mole? And I love this question. <laughs> That's a great question. Well, um, sometimes moles are present at birth, then they would be a birthmark. Most of the time, babies are born without any moles at all. And then as we all get older, we, d we get more moles. So quite often, patients will come into my clinic and say, but I never had this mole before. And then I can explain that, yeah, we, we, we grow moles as we get older. And what causes so, moles? Moles? I guess we could do a whole, a whole <laughs> yeah, healthy living yeah, on that. Yeah. Moles, of course, if we're not talking about cancerous moles, we're talking about just, just benign moles. They're, they're spots of, again, concentrated pigment that, that come up as we get older um, for no particularly good reason at all. They just happen. And where they occur and how they occur, that's a real mystery. Okay, and I wanted to ask this question is sure. um, beauty marks. You know, those little freckled mm -hmm. marks mm -hmm. that, that most so people beauty get. Mark, <laughs> beauty mark actually is a mole. It it's, is. It's just very tiny and flat rather than so what many people will think of as a mole is a raised brown lesion. Um, did you know moles can also be flesh colored? They can just be the same color as your skin or pink even or even bluish. So there are many, many kinds of moles. Um, most of the time there are nothing to worry about. 
Okay, and I, so since we're on the topic, we might as well just start out there. So how does somebody know if maybe they should be concerned? I About know you, their mold? you watch the size, the color, all of that. Yeah, your ABCDs. So A, the asymmetry of the mole, uh, making sure that both sides of it match. The B is the border, making sure the border is nice and smooth. C, the color, make sure that it's an even color, it's not black or mottled color. Uh, D, for diameter, bigger than six millimeters, that's the top of a pencil eraser. And then E for um, unusual extra things like bleeding or um, uh, rapid growth. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Well, thanks, Doc, for You're welcome. answering those. We just kind of threw those in. Sure. But Doc will be back again next week, and we're going to be talking about oral hygiene. Send us your questions to healthyliving at KUAM.com. We're back to wrap up the show right after this.